out of this 60 kg of stock what you have let's say we will issue 40 kg of stock to the production that is known as material consumption this this part raw material stock issued to production out of 60 kg 40 kg stock we will issue at the rate whatever the moving price we will see what is the moving price is updated okay manually we are not going to do select anything the again we will process this mm user mm user will process this and here how many documents will be there three documents will be there mm document fi document and co document also because this cost is from gl point of view fi point of view it is going to part of your income statement and from costing point of view it is part of your cost sheet so process the it is known as raw, raw material. material consumption is basically the whip account which account uh, the work in process when you raw, say raw material consumption raw, raw material consumption it is the material cost when we are going to prepare the cost sheet it is the material mm -hmm. cost right but is is it is it where the work for the production when you release those hmm. raw material it goes into work in process account right yeah is that what you mean by raw material consumption yeah it's part of your work in progress part of your factory yeah. cost okay okay raw material congestion for this one cost center is required uh, right now i don't have the cost center just one cost center i'm dummy cost center i'm going to create so that we can use it here in future we will create all the other cost centers so create one cost center transaction code case 01 so when you are going to create the cost center uh, like first it will be the cost center hierarchy should we need to maintain that means the cost center hierarchy standard hierarchy under this we have the cost center groups then cost center but right now i am not going to create a group at least we need to create the cost center hierarchy and i am going to create the cost center go to your controlling area Maintain the cost center standard hierarchy. Take anything, let's say W001. Save it. This does not exist, yes. Now we will create the cost center. Transaction code KS01. But Again, we will uh, repeat all these things in our controlling configuration with a proper way. Right now, roughly, I'm creating one cost center. Cost center accounting. Master data. Cost center. Check the standard hierarchy, which is right now not the prop. It is not uh, proper standard hierarchy. Because in standard hierarchy, let it come see right now standard hike is there after that group should be there after that different cost center because why the groups are there because we have different type of cost center groups will production service maintenance different type of groups will be there in, in, in that we will see in controlling right now i'm just going to create one cost center as production cost center so that we can transfer the cost to that particular cost center okay so it is incomplete create cost center take something let's say 1000 take the validity from this date this cost center is active master data
production person responsible department cost center category its production select hierarchy right now we don't have groups so automatically system selected the hierarchy but once you have group it will we will get the option business area if you want currency save it ignore this message because profit center we have we don't have the profit center so now cost elements are there and control cost center is there and we can issue the stock to the production or raw material consumption use the transaction code mb1a again from mm we will use the process go to logistic material management inventory management goods movement goods issue here it's movement type 201 goods issue pp configuration is not there so without production order we are processing this one select the movement type movement type 201 cost consumption in cost center consumption of for, consumption for cost center from warehouse continue add the cost center here and which material you are going to send material number 2423 how much quantity 40 okay we got one error we configured the fi document for uh, as system will generate the fi document similarly we need to configure the co document also so which is missing controlling document for that means uh, here one controlling document will be there which is missing let me fix the issue first controlling general controlling maintain number range for controlling documents transaction code knk controlling area click on groups like in fi we have the document types here we have the business transactions are there for different transactions we have uh, for different activity different controlling transactions are there right now we are going to use this one coin see you uh, posting through fi because in controlling we are not going to post any transaction it will be derived from fi only so see you through fi posting and right now it is there in the non assigned elements so we will create one group group create add the number range save so our group created now add this one from non assigned to our group select assign okay now try once again cost center 1000 material 2423 40 kg one more document generated mm document check this document go to mb03 mm document go to overview check your material master first and what is your closing stock now 
we have 20 kg of stock and this is the cost with this entry there is no impact in the GRR but there is impact in the stock that means previously this is inflow of stock debit and this is outflow of stock okay when inward stock movement 89 outward stock movement 99 that means from warehouse we transferred some stock to production so it is a credit entry raw metal consumption debited stock credited this is your credit entry and where is the debit debit is the raw metal consumption accounting entry is also updated and same is also updated here same accounting entry raw material two documents are there one is your fi document 49 4 times 0 and one document co document is generated so that time we got the error co document number was missing okay so accounting document is also generated let's see the accounting document So what is the source document original document is your mm document stock issue okay then in accounting two documents are there fi document raw metal consumption raw metal stock credited raw metal consumption debited with one cost object cost object means here we can verify the co document and also we can run the cost center report also okay so that's why this cost center cost object is updated now check the controlling document what is the fi document fi document is 494 times 0 and check the controlling document case b5 it's not 49 it's 1 So with reference to this MM document, this is your MM document, 17674. With reference to the MM document, your CO document generated. Okay, with the cost element, it's not GL, it's cost element, 1000. So check the, also you can see the stock position. What is the closing stock? 20. So your GL report is also updated, GL balance updated. And you can also see the cost center report. All these things, the controlling part, don't worry now. In future, we will see. One second, I'm just showing the integration part. Check the cost center report. It's updated. GL updated. Cost center updated. And uh, how many stock? If you want to see, let me add the quantity also. How many quantity 40 kg that means 40 kg material reduced from your stock and the cost is updated this is your cost center report for your cost of production calculation this is your GL report for income statement and this is your source document is the MM document so all three systems are integrated okay you can also check one report so with this material document this fi document generated this is your posting date quantity updated 60 kg of stock quantity and this is your price 12,200. with this mm document with this fi document 40 kg stock reduced issued to uh, production this is the credit entry so right now we are having closing stock of 40 kg and this is the price fine Check the GL. This is the price. This will provide you, uh, not this one. This will provide you the accounting information and this will provide you the complete information. As everything is integrated, so we are getting the complete picture. Otherwise, if you are using multiple applications, so from somewhere you will find the accounting part, somewhere you will find the CO part, somewhere you will find the MM part. So we will stop here. In next session, we will add the tax part and we will raise the invoice because right now vendor invoice not yet created. 
because the credit entries you can find it is there in the GRIR and which is which are open items so two credit entries are there okay we need to debit the GRIR and we will transfer credit to the vendor